Christmas. Uh, also tonight, with the swipe of his pen, the president will free up $19 billion for disaster aid. Yeah, that's money top lawmakers say should have been freed up a lot sooner. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska joining us live in the Satellite News Center with what this means for rebuilding parts of Florida. Michael. Wendy, Hurricane Michael hit more than eight months ago, but parts of the panhandle, as we saw today, it looks like the storm just rolled through. ABC Action News meteorologist Jason Adams took these photos today. This is Mexico Beach. It took a direct hit from the Category 5 monster. Tyndall Air Force Base is still a ghost town. The disaster aid giving the Air Force more than a billion dollars, some of that used to rebuild Tyndall. The yeas are 354, the nays are 58. U.S. Senator Marco Rubio said he was disappointed it took this long to get funds to recover. His office says they will be working closely with Governor Ron DeSantis to help the hardest hit areas. Puerto Rico is getting $1.4 billion in much needed aid. 600 million of that will go towards food stamps. The disaster aid will also help recovery efforts from Hurricane Harvey and Florence, along with aid for the recent tornadoes and flooding in Iowa and Nebraska. The bill also extends the national flood insurance program through September 30th. And right now the president is overseas, but he is expected to sign this disaster aid bill. We're live in the Satellite News Center, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.